Now, for the Federation and the officials and the administrators, especially in track and field, I want to implore you to keep your focus wide and your eyes keenly on the radar for the next one. Not just the track and field, the next one in every sport. And here's why. The countries who dominate in any sport are the ones who are never content with what they currently have. They are always looking for what they could have. Maybe the next one is not even here. Might be the child of an expat in the UK, USA, Canada. Maybe he or she is playing another sport. Most of you will recall that Usain Bolt thought he was going to be a cricketer. The other thing I want to implore the administrators to be very, very wary of is to be careful that while Karani has done very well in 2011 and has set himself up as the favorite going into 2012, make sure that everyone gets support. Everyone across the board. In 2004, I watched at the Athens Olympic Games as Asafa Powell walked out for the men's 100 meter final. And Jamaicans held their collective breath because he was supposed to be the one to bring home the gold. Didn't quite happen that way. And it, it, they had to wait four years for Usain Bolt to deliver it. But let me go one step further. Johan Blake. Where was Johan Blake in 2004? Was he on anybody's radar? Not so much. What about 2008? Anybody looking out for Johan Blake that year in terms of the senior ranks? Not so. 2009? Not so. He's world 100 meter champion now. You have to continuously look at the big picture when it comes to your athletes. And too often in the Caribbean, we focus on the favorite or the one who gets talked about the most, and the ones coming behind suffer from not only lack of attention, but from a lack of reinforcement. Remember, these are young athletes, and the more that they, their efforts get reinforced, the likely they are to step onto the stage alongside your current staff. Let me just interject this while I'm on the subject of sports administrators in this country. When you are preparing Miss Grenada to go to Miss Universe or to Miss World, they have to be groomed, correct? They have to be taught how to walk, how to speak, how to answer questions. I had a conversation in another island last year where I asked a sports official, why, does the sport, why do the sporting organizations not spend some time teaching and training their athletes how to be better ambassadors, how to be better in front of a camera, how to conduct better interviews. And the answer given to me was that doesn't make any sense and it won't make any difference. I categorically disagree with such a statement. In the same way that when we are sending uh, beauty queens away, they are taught and they are groomed, any young athlete, and make no mistake about it, the biggest ambassadors for your country are your athletes. Any young athlete, and the younger the better, can be taught how to conduct an interview, how to speak, how to carry his or herself, such that when somebody who has never heard of Grenada before sees that young individual, they will go away saying, that is a place that is absolutely amazing because look at what the ambassador looks like and sounds like. This is a critical thing as Grenada emerges onto the world stage. With all the success will come some silliness. While I've been here, I have seen the 
Welcome to Karate Country Billboard. I understand this billboard is controversial. I have no idea why. 18 years old, youngest world champion ever in his event. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not all fours. This is sports. And to the victor go the sports. So I'm back now to you, the supporters. If you want to be a good supporter of sports in your country, the kind of silly talk has to stop. Because I look at this thing on the news and I said, but why would a billboard saying, welcome to Karani country, be controversial? And then the announcer explained, this was seen as a slight to other athletes in Grenada. Okay. I don't see how that could be so. And guess what? If anything, it should be an incentive to the other athletes that if you go out there and you excel and you perform, you too can have a billboard. Yes. I am in Jamaica five, six times a year. The first billboard that greets me when I land, you say boat country, go around the corner, Shelly and Fraser country, go around that corner, Malayne Walker country. Guess what they all have in common? Olympic gold medalists and world champions. Mm -hmm. To the victor go the spoils. And to all of you athletes, to all of you athletes who may have looked at the billboard and thought, wow, I wish I could get one of those, there's a very big gap between wishing and producing. You have more work to do. Back to the athletes. You have to realize what a gift your career can be. I did an interview with Magic Johnson. I was interviewing Magic Johnson for a column I was doing back in the day. I had just won the world title, and I went in there almost feeling his equal. I'm a world champion, Magic's a world champion. And he said to me, what are you doing now to prepare for when you can no longer run? And I looked at him as though he was a madman. So, uh, Magic, I'm 23. I prepare for what I, when my career is over. I have a whole career ahead of me. Magic was right. Magic was absolutely right. You have to use, young athletes, the time now when your name means something, when you are household word, when the sporting organizations will actually let you into these functions. <laughs> oh, trust me, I've seen it. While you are still relevant, this is when you figure out what you want to do next. And it's a very, very critical step. I know as an athlete, especially as a track athlete, you want to focus on the next day, the next week, the next month, the next competition. But it is absolutely critical that you realize that your sporting career is but a brief snapshot in your life. And if you are able to take what you are doing now and make it mean something. I have friends who are artists, obviously friends who are broadcasters, coaches. If you are able to take what you are doing now and use that as a stepping stone for what you are going to do after, the chances are that the thing that you do after is what is going to sustain you for the rest of your life. I live in a city where there's an athlete who is referred to constantly as King James. And it bothers me. Not because I'm a Laker fan, but because he hasn't won anything. It's good to be in the country of the real King James. And let me say congratulations to all of the nominees and the awardees tonight. I haven't been in Grenada for about eight years. I guarantee you that gap will not happen again. It's been an absolutely phenomenal week for me. 
being here on your lovely island. God bless you. Thank you.